I've been dating and going out with girls recently for the past few weeks and it feels different I have to tell you I don't know what has changed maybe I have changed maybe the whole environment has changed at least when I compare it to the last time I was single a few years ago I don't know if it's that women have so much choice nowadays that if they don't like a little the smallest thing about you there's always 10 other men or has the human nature changed generally speaking that people are not so relationship oriented anymore I'm 30 now so I've still been growing up in that age where you know everybody told you you know you're in your 20s you should you should you should, you should find a woman you should you should have a children build a house build a tree and live a happy life ever after and be married for 60 years but it feels like that's not the case anymore. It must be the abundance of choice, it did, you know, seeing all those models. I'm talking about both bo genders, women seeing, you know, all those male models, the rich guys on Instagram and vice versa, men seeing all those women they could have potentially. And just thinking like there's always something better. It's, it's not worth it putting the work into the relationship when in your subconscious mind there's always the idea that there's someone else, there's someone better, at least seemingly, until you get to know them and realize they are even worse than the previous person and this repeats and repeats. And you're always hoping you find someone else, someone better, who on the outside looked better. But then you get to know them and you realize it's the same thing around, 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 and the years go by. And then you maybe realize you're 60 and nothing has worked out. So yeah, it feels like you don't know how to approach it anymore. But on the other hand, maybe no one ever knew and it just happens somehow. And when, when once you find the right person, it just all starts to make sense and all the pain was worth it. And another thing I was fighting with is it feels like everybody's pretending so much more, you know, when you go on the first date or on your social media or in the messages, you're trying to make yourself look you're trying to put yourself in the best light possible. And I've been, I've been and I am guilty of this myself. You're just trying to present yourself to this new potential person as, 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 as the best possible option for them. But is that is that really a good way to go about it? I don't know. And another issue that comes to mind is that women, they want a manly man, but at the same time, they want someone that is sensitive and, you know, caring and gentleman. But at the same time, you cannot show that you are a pussy in the slightest. Which kind of doesn't make sense, but, you know, women, they don't know what they want, do they? So at the end of the day, probably it's just the best thing to just be yourself. Or not. Because then... You're not gonna satisfy women. What? Anyway, you should be muscular, you know, you should make a lot of money, you should have manners and everything, but at the same time, you should spend a lot of time with them, which doesn't go hand in hand with making money, because, you know, if you are really working hard, you spend a lot of time working, right? If you really want to be in a good shape, you spend a lot of time in a gym or doing sports and, you know, watching your diet and stuff. All those things take time and effort. But at the same time, you should always be there for your women. For your woman, you should always pay for her. And you should always just be available. Which at the same time is a mistake in itself because once a woman knows that she owns you, that she can manipulate you, she loses respect for you. So I guess this whole idea of dating nowadays, it's just really hard. Because, you know, everything is becoming more digital conversations, you know, video chats, whatever. People are only going to get worse in face-to-face -face conversations. If someone doesn't want to see you anymore, they just send you a text message. If someone, you know, well, they just ghost you, maybe. <laughs> I'm, I'm being, being maybe a little too positive. People just ghost you all the time, don't they? They don't even say why, what happened, they block you and that's it. They don't want to have the confrontation because everybody's a big hero on the internet. But very, very, very little people are able to tell you in your face what they think about you. 
because they are facing the reality of getting punched or slapped or I don't know. It there doesn't have to even be a confrontation. It's just very, very uncomfortable to stand face in face with a person and be honest. It's much easier to hide behind a computer screen and pretend to be a warrior. And what about the topic of approaching women? You know, today it feels like you can't even give a compliment to a woman woman because you are, you know, you are being too old, too, too 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 direct, you know, it's it's a sexual harassment. You can't even compliment a woman on the street, a random woman, because she's gonna think you're gonna try to rob her. Which raises another issue that women complain that men are not direct anymore. That they don't get approached on the street. Well, is that surprising? Is that really surprising? What has happened nowadays is that, you know, men are just scared of approaching women because you get flagged for being, a, I don't know, misogynist, you know, toxic masculinity and all those fancy words that I don't even know what they mean. So you can't even do those things that are required of you biologically. It's too offensive. Everybody just... Everybody is just so scared of everything nowadays and just makes me a little bit mad. I have to be honest, you know, it just feels like anything you do, it's just wrong. But at the same time, you should be doing it because that's the, the right way. It doesn't even make sense when I'm saying this because it just doesn't make sense. How can you be go out there and approach women and, you know, give compliments and just be nice when at the same time you're going to get cancelled because you are too sexist and you only want sex and... And you shouldn't behave this way because it's too much and it just, I don't know, it just doesn't make sense. Nothing makes sense anymore nowadays. Everybody's scared of everything. Everything is wrong. You should just be home and listen to the orders and hmm, I'm not like that. I'm just gonna do my thing. I'm gonna be honest. I don't care if I'm gonna come out as sexist. I know where the motivation comes from within. No, it's one thing how things look on the outside and it's a completely different thing how you mean them and what really matters what really really matters is that you stay true to yourself if you approach a woman and it might look weird on the outside all really matters is that you meant it well on the inside maybe you maybe it didn't come out like that but that's fine everybody needs a little bit of training including myself sometimes the way you put things they don't come out that way and it's totally fine at the end of the day when i go to sleep when you go to sleep all that matters is that you stay true to yourself and not to other people's opinions it really does not matter how things come out as long as you meant them well. You cannot master the art of talking to people from day one. It literally takes years. I'm learning every day. I'm still discovering ways how to talk to people without feeling uncomfortable. And it's a process that takes years and years and years and I feel it will take many more years. But what I'm finding out along the way is that I'm the happiest when I just am honest, when I don't pretend, when I just tell people straight up what I think about them, how I feel about them, what I want, what I need, and they either accept it or they don't. But that's none of my business. I stay true to myself and that's all that mattered. I'm not gonna feel ashamed when I come back home and I'm alone and I'm gonna, you know, think about those situations from the past, thinking like, I was just trying to satisfy other people and I didn't, I wasn't honest, I didn't stay true to myself. So I pretended I liked this person, that I wanted to do this activity. I didn't answer their questions honestly. I don't do that anymore and it feels so much better. Yes, I do feel that people then look at you differently, that you are some sort of an outsider. But does that really matter at the end of the day? It doesn't anymore, at least now it doesn't anymore it's been a journey it's not easy to get over those opinions and feeling like an outsider feeling different but at the end of the day it's all worth it and it only feels better you may be a little bit more alone you may lose some friends along the way you may have to remove some people from your life but you are only removing things 
that were really pulling you down, that didn't have any benefit for you. In conclusion, the best thing is just to stay true to yourself when going out on a date. Be honest, be yourself. They either like you or they don't. Who cares? You like yourself and that's all that matters.